I've got a big nose. I've got awful teeth. We can't all get veneers and Invisalign. Some of us are still waiting for unemployment. Good morning. If I look rough, it's because I'm I'm having had one of those mornings where the first impulse was to cry. I'm sure somebody out there can relate. This isn't like my, my fun fluctuation of hormones. It's just one of those days. And once my son is awake and he's a great distraction. <laughs> my husband had to go to the office today because I'm sure his job thinks they're doing the right thing, but they're trying to like, be safe and have like a couple people in. It's weird to not have him around too. Here's a little therapy. Hi. You on camera? Do you mind? Mm. Yes, yes, I love that. Yes, very pretty kitty. Show everyone how beautiful your fangs are. I don't think they can see. Yeah. <laughs> well, now you know the face rub against the, ca the camera. Mm hmm. <laughs> not expose her too much it's not in her contract oh yeah and if you don't follow me on twitter instagram you wouldn't know that i hated <laughs> she's not really a fan of them i think i like them only when i'm like all dressed up otherwise it's like i don't like them those will be growing back out uh i don't know you might see them down if i ever decide to dress up a certain way but why would I? Why would... <laughs> I have nowhere to go, nowhere to... It's hot. I don't want bangs. This has got to grow out still because it's a little wispy right there. It looks funny. I'll be back with an actual point to this video. I hope. I'm probably going to do a lot of cleaning today, but in the meantime, let's see if Mr. Face is awake. I'm not showing him on camera for anyone who's wondering. This is not a family vlog channel. He is still out. <sighs> this is unusual for him. I think he had a funky sleep last night. It happens every once in a while. Where he's like perfect, perfect, perfect. And then one funky sleep will just throw off a day or tea. A day or tea? A day or two. Maybe I should have tea. I don't really have much to say right now. So I'm going to edit. Oh, in my attempt at growing some avocados because what else are you gonna do huh i used to make flash animations on newgrounds i went under the name eh films and it was supposed to be like eh films the thing is uh there's a chunk of time when i wasn't doing it and there's a lot of things happening in that chunk of time and by the time i started thinking i might get back into doing something it wasn't going to be animation because I just was not in love with doing the animation myself I liked art I like setting things up I like the premises but I do not like doing the animation and I was going to name my YouTube channel eh films but if you look up eh films there's a lot of different ones. There's EH films, there's A films, there's A films, there's like there's so many EH films. And um I realized that that might just have to be my thing on Newgrounds. If you know what I'm talking about, I didn't make a lot of stuff. My biggest thing was something called Found Lost. It was an idea I had based off of a haunted painting. I wanted to make sure I didn't forget that. Um, just this year, somebody reached out to me, somebody named Preston Standiford, and I hope I'm saying your last name right, because we've never actually talked, so, not in person, I mean. So, you were Captain Preston, but now he is Preston Standiford, and anyone should check out his channel, because he made a short film 
Well, he he's done a few things, but he made a short film that was, I guess, loosely based off of Found Lost because he was, it left an impression. And that's amazing because, just check it out, because it's pretty cool that somebody did something like that. And he seems like a really cool guy. Um, hi, Preston. We still haven't even talked in person. Um, beyond that, I did a, f a bunch of paper dolls, one of which I was accused of stealing a design for when the design I supposedly stole was 10 years after mine. I, people don't look at dates. I don't get it. I did paper dolls. I did a couple of really short, silly animations. I don't have anything really spectacular, but, uh, found lost was the main one. And there's even a couple of reviews on YouTube. <laughs> There's one that's flattering because this person clearly played it when it came out and just had like some sort of memory attached to it. And then I, I want to say I saw two, but I couldn't seem to find the other one. I found one from, I, I commented on it and I was just like, dude, <laughs> it was a little different. They commented on how I stole the music. They commented how it was really dumb. The dates didn't match or something like that. And it was like, yeah, it was me playing around on Newgrounds <laughs> and Newgrounds before it was like, cause you don't get paid for those animations. I didn't consider copyright stuff because it was like, no one cares. This is just a here, click in this. Ha ha ha. Now that there's YouTube and monetization, all that's very different. You don't do that, but it was very different. I think I want to say I made that game in early 2000s. So uh, anyone like, why would you put copywritten music? It was, it wasn't for money. It wasn't, it was just for fun. And I don't feel like I'm going to cry right now. And I th think. I think he was just moving. I'm sorry that this video is a little all over the place, but. Um, I'm thinking that I might do. Again, it's the motivation guys. When I'm doing the video, I enjoy doing it and I love editing and everything like that, but just getting started and wanting to be on camera. I didn't want to be on camera today, actually, but like I did throw the camera in my face. And now, as you can see, the crying has stopped. One of the reasons I did it, because I'm like, if I just talk this random vlog. You know what? I'm going to call it my last quarantine vlog. Because the quarantine vlogs don't make sense anymore. To me, uh, for now, this is just life. I mean, everyone's just like still in quarantine when this is over, when this is over. Every time somebody says when this is over, I kind of want to tell them, I don't think it's going to happen quite the way everyone is going to be over. Everyone's just going to be like, woo, let's get back to normal. I don't think there's going to be the old normal anymore. I said, I don't think it works anymore. And someone online was just like, it never worked. Like, you know, maybe you're right. It's so sad too, because there are definitely people that I follow on YouTube who you can see are depressed. <laughs> um, not necessarily all the time. Just, you can just see that they're like trying to push through this. And there's other people who look like they're unaffected and they're just like, I know this is a hard time. And then they look unaffected. You're just like, are you a good actor? Or are you just really unaffected? Either way, sometimes that's hard to watch. <laughs> I'm rambling again. Does anyone else feel like that? You just feel rambly and you're like, I don't know what to say anymore. But I don't want to hang up yet. I've been singing a lot, but I'm not going to sing in this video. I know uh, my, my singing doesn't really get a lot of, it's not like people are like clamoring to hear it. It's just, okay, you're, she's singing again. Fast forward. It's a coping mechanism. I love singing. I love music. This might be the end of the video. I was going to put something else on it. But I think I'll just make another video for that. Like, if I do like a weird makeup thing or if I, I have another idea for something that I might do because... I need to do something. I hope you're doing okay and... Uh, Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing or liking or just, you know, clicking and then clicking away when I'm done and thinking, oh, I'm never going to watch her again. Thank you for anything.
FYI to anyone who still likes K cups but doesn't want to waste a lot. These, and I know there are other brands involved, we are not sponsored. These are just the ones that we use. And yes, I am drinking decaf again. I know it's pointless to some people. I like decaf. Um, but once you finish using this, what you do is you pop this off. You take the filter and the grounds out, which the grounds I put in a little compost container. This is recyclable. This is trash. That's it. So uh, that's much better than having these stack up somewhere. I mean, if they're being recycled. I know somebody out there is like, recycling is a hoax. Well, guess what? I'm trying.